taste of America, right here in the heart of London. Unfortunately, life where this stuff comes from ain't quite so sweet. You might not have noticed, but America's in a bit of trouble right now. Government gridlocked, workers sent home, and the possibility of the world's greatest superpower defaulting on its debt, which, and I don't want to get too technical here, is a bad thing. But how did it get into this state, and what does it mean for us? The Republicans, who control the lower chamber of the US Congress, have refused to pass a budget, which means large swathes of the federal government, the bit controlled by Washington, have been forced to close. It started with Obamacare, the president's plan for a universal health insurance scheme for all Americans. Obamacare for many people in the US is a symbol of uh, a fundamental shift of the political philosophy towards socialism. Uh, socialism is, is, a, is a nasty word in the U.S. So whether it's a good idea or a bad idea, and I think many, many Americans, and certainly those of us outside America, think it's a good idea, uh, that's almost beside the point. There have been talks, but if Republicans and Democrats fail to reach a deal, the U.S. could also hit its borrowing limit, and that's dangerous for all of us. Hitting the debt ceiling is a bit like hitting your credit card limit. If it hits it, uh, then it will have to stop spending on a whole number of things. Nobody knows which things those will be or how they will be prioritizing spending. But the, the worst thing that could happen for the rest of the world would be if the U.S. government stopped paying the interest on its outstanding debt. I think that's very unlikely but it could be a, a very nasty scenario if that happens. And none of it's good news for us. If you imagine US companies now potentially having to send staff home because of the US workers not working, that can trickle back to us. Perhaps orders through Brit from British companies aren't coming in because they're not needed in the US. So that is the first instance, purely through our trade uh, flow. And the other is through what potentially can happen to US government bonds. Now, if the US do default, the value of these bonds will fall. And that could mean that the pension funds of ordinary people well outside uh, the US can be affected. So how might it pan out? Predicting it is hard. I think the best way uh, that it could resolve itself would be a short-term agreement, a continuing resolution, uh, as it's sometimes called, to enable the government to pay its bills for certain things, like Social Security, like interest on the debt. Uh, that would have a time limit attached to it. That would give more time for negotiations. The shutdown has undoubtedly put Republicans and Democrats in the spotlight. But unless a deal's done soon, it might not be the kind of fame politicians normally crave.